of the default tool is the Move tool. That'll usually be selected the first time you open Photoshop Elements. You can see it's in the top left corner of the toolbox. You can access it by pressing V or by clicking the icon. The Move tool is really great and it may be just about the only tool you'll need to create a whole layout if you're creating from a template. I'll quickly show you how I create a layout similar to this using just the Move tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the template. This isn't going to be an in-depth look at how to use a template, but rather how I use the Move tool to create my layout. So I won't be explaining every single step, but you should be able to get an idea of how I create a page. So. With the Move tool selected, I'm just going to click on the item that I want to change. The first thing I'll do is change the background paper. I'm going to select a uh, paper I like and pop it in there. Now you can, might be able to see that I've got a tiny slither of blue in the corner here. So I'm just going to use the Move tool to move my layer, my paper, and check that it's all there. All of the background is covered now. I'm going to click on the next item I want to change with my move tool and I'm going to select a different paper for this part. Now as you can see it's covered up the spot I want to change but with a simple control G it's now fitted to where I want it. Again, using the Move tool, I can move my paper around within this little cut section and get it exactly how I like it. I'm going to select a photo. Place it in there. And again, using my favourite shortcut, Control g clip it to the layer below. I'm going to move it around until I've got it framed how I like it. I can always grab a corner and slightly resize. Click the green check mark when I'm happy. Now when it comes to changing some text here, just double click with the move tool and I can change my text. I'm going to show you more about the text tool in an upcoming video. Now I've just changed the text in this date spot and I want to line it up with the center of this star. Again, all I need is the Move tool, click on the text, hold down Shift, click on the star, then go up to this um, control bar here, click on Align, Horizontal Centers. Now it's all centered. So while I'm here, I'm going to add a bit of paper to my star. Just click on it with my Move tool and place some paper. Control G to clip it to the shape of the star and I'm all done. All I need to do now is add some journaling. I can do that by double clicking on the existing journaling spot and I can type away. So I'll save my work now and that's a simple layout done using just one tool, the Move tool. Would you like to see more Photoshop Elements video tutorials? Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.